Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Lenovo mini PC. This one is a Lenovo Think Center M715Q and in this video I'm going to take you on a step by step how you can reset the BIOS if you have a BIOS password or you have a password that when you turn it on it requires in order to continue. It's really easy so you can follow this step if you have placed a password on your BIOS and you forgot it and but there's many websites that just charge you lots of money to just send some code and they don't work stuff like that i'm just going to take you on a step by step how you can remove that uh, password for any pretty much any mini pc for um, m series you know, lenovo lap um, pcs all right so right now i have a password in here i'm going to connect uh, my hdmi or my display port let me see where is the right over here okay and i am gonna connect the power so get my cable coming right over here so as soon as i put the power it does turn on now let's see the fan is spinning i get lenovo and it is asking system security power on password required enter system on password and press enter all right i know the password that i put in here is one to five so let me see okay whatever one two three four five that's for the password on but i don't want to it's going to boot to the window so i'm going to control delete we want to go to the I do have to connect my keyboard. I forgot to connect this one. So we want to go to a BIOS. So the, in order to boot, it requires a two. So I'm going to control Alt delete. We're going to tap enter in order to go to the BIOS. Okay, F1 to enter the BIOS. And it does require a password. So any password that I put in here, Password fail is not gonna work. So I'm gonna show you an easy way to remove this password or boot on password, any of them. So what are we gonna do right now? So let's follow the steps. First, we're gonna power it up. We are gonna disconnect the power cable. We're gonna disconnect the, any cable that is connected to it. At the back here, we're gonna remove the middle screw. You might have a, this big pop out screw or you might have a little flat screw. So remove any sort of a screw. Some of them, they don't come out entirely. You just have to loosen them up or some of them, they do come out. So don't worry, as long as you rotate, don't have to pull it hard. Once it's disconnected, all you wanna do, you wanna separate the bottom from the top. So pretty much slide them away like this and then lift it up. It becomes just like that. Now I'll put this side, this one to one side. Now, we need to remove the hard drive here to remove the hard drive remove one screw right in here sometimes you might have a, another screw somewhere over here not this one but this one right here so unscrew by hand or by screwdriver is a phillips this one is pretty loose so i'm gonna remove it comes kind of riser type you're gonna slide the hard drive this way lift it up gently as the Wi-Fi cable antenna here, so I'm not gonna disconnect it, just gonna leave it to one side. Now, down here, this is the BIOS battery. Even if you remove the BIOS battery, the BIOS will not reset at all. And there's a, here it says CLR CMOS. That's clear BIOS uh, pins right in here, right in here. So we have these pins right in here, it says CLR, and right beside it, it says right, it's titled right on, on here, it says 224S is for CLR CMOS, clear BIOS. So right now it's set for pin four to five. So we need to remove this jumper cable, just pull it up. It's kind of called a jumper cable. We are gonna place this one right on the pin of two and four. I push it down. So we removed it from here, we jumped it back this way one. Once you're in a pin, this one, 
in here. So what happens right now, if you give it there or for a few minutes, it's still not gonna restart. There's a trick to it, even if you remove the battery. You need to plug in the keyboard. The mouse, you don't need to plug in the HDMI or display port, whatever you have. Plug in the power. And there's a button in here on this side is a white button. You might have it. If you don't have it, you don't have to press it. But if you do have this button on the left side, which is, you don't see it right in here, but it is right in here. This is for the cover to detect if the cover is being removed. Some of them, they do come, some they don't. So you can hold it down. And while, while you're holding it down, you want to plug in the power and you don't want to let go. Now, once I plug it in, the fan is not spinning. So what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna just press once the power while I'm holding the other one. If you don't have it again, you don't need to. Press it only once, the fan is spinning. You're not gonna get anything on the screen. You're gonna hear those beep sounds, couple of times beep. You wanna wait for the fourth sequence. I heard it twice. Three times, four times. Now you can let go of that one and you can turn it on. If you heard a fifth time, it's okay. Just unplug it or hold down the power off for five seconds and it should turn off the fan. Now it's powered up. Once the power is off, you can, to be safe, you can just remove the power supply, but you don't need to. Remove the jumper and place it again to pin four to five to the normal set right there. Now, what do you wanna do? You wanna simply to power it on. And I'm gonna go to the bias by tapping enter. It might take a little longer. So it did a first restart and it's gonna go back again. There we go. Okay. Setup failed. Go to F1 to setup. F1. And we are inside the BIOS right there. And there we have it. Now the BIOS is erased. If I go to the security tab and it says administrator password, not installed, power on, not installed. You might want to go to the main. Set date and time, press enter, and set your date and time because everything resets. This one reset it to 2017. Obviously, we're not in 2017 right now. So, and that's it pretty much. If you want to set a new password, you can set it up right under security, set administrative password, and exit, save changes. And that covers up today's video. I hope this video helped you out. If you want to help the channel, you can click that like and subscribe. It really tremendously helps me to continue making videos for you guys. If you have any question or request, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.